So Atletico Madrid then taking a 2-1 advantage going into that second leg in Germany next week. Luis Garcia is with us. That's this uh, Jan Arger fuels off. Jan, I want to start with you. 2-1, not bad actually, if from a Dortmund perspective, considering how things started. Yeah, it's, it's a good point how it started because, first of all, we saw in this game it was the fourth in La Liga playing the fifth in the Bundesliga. Because imagine being Dortmund, you're going to Madrid, 70,000, Diego Simone, intense pressing. So here is the idea. We start playing from the back in the third minute and we play <laughs> to Matson, who make an outside pass in somewhere, as he doesn't see, 1-0. Then Hummels and Schlotterbeck, they're out of the German national team. Wow, we have an international state to show us, hey, Nagelsmann, you can bring us to the European Championship. And then they do a misunderstanding that you can't do on this level. So that is 2-0 down. But again, we saw Atletico Madrid from old would have killed that game off because mm. Bra Brandt came on. He did OK. There were some good situations there for them. And at the end, you have to say that Dortmund deserved to get that goal. As we saw, they could be even luckier to, to get a 2-2. Get that wouldn't be deserved. I think Atletico had the, the little nod ahead of them. But I think that from the moral of Dortmund, you never know, as Craig was saying, you never know which Dortmund team will turn up. There was a, t a team turn up in first half. In the second half, they arrived at the airport in Madrid, was driven to the stadium, and then another te team <laughs> can come out. That is the definition of Dortmund. But still, as I started, this is two of the weakest teams in the quarterfinals, and one of them will go to the semis. Uh, they most certainly will. Simeone would be frustrated, wouldn't he, Luis, giving up a two-goal lead like that? Mm. Yeah, I think so, a little bit, uh, because I think the way the, the game started, fantastic intensity, the atmosphere that the, the Metropolitan mm. creates definitely pushed the players. And I think it surprised a little bit uh, the players from, uh, from Dortmund that they uh, couldn't see anything happening apart from considering that first goal. And uh, we saw that with Lino, chance uh, late in the second half, it could have been the third one for uh, Atletico Madrid. But as you know, guys, with Atletico Madrid, there is always a drama. There is no easy games. There is no easy knockouts. So there is always something that they have to be fight for. And uh, that's the way it is. Atletico Madrid, in the moment that they go ahead, they start sitting deep. I think with the changes of Borussia Dortmund, with the white players, with white players, and the, the hard work that they did in the first 45 minutes with that intensity uh, um, and pressure uh, everywhere on the pitch. So you make a lot of efforts. And I think that the players got a little bit uh, uh, tired and they went out, right out, out of legs uh, in the second, in the last part of the game. And then, of course, Lucia Dormund kind of dominates you, submits you. In the end, they found that uh, that goal that uh, makes them believe that they can go through to the semifinals. But definitely, I think that Simeone must be a little bit disappointed uh, with that result because they had that 3-0 in their hands and, and they blew it away. But no, it's like if you're Dortmund, you know, a couple of things are in your, in your favour. It's not like the Inter game for Atleti, where the first game was away from home. Yep. They scraped something out of it. It, should have, it was 1-0. It should have been 3 or 4 for, uh, for Inter, but it wasn't, and that was down to them. And then they get this crowd behind them at home in the second leg, and it's a much different performance. For Dortmund, you know, they've travelled, obviously, to, to, to Madrid. They've, they've had the possession. They've made a couple of mistakes, but they're still in there. And now they have this Atleti side coming to Germany, so it's the opposite way around for them, which I think works better for Dortmund. But also, it's not it's not the Atleti that you might think. If you don't watch La Liga uh, and you think, oh, I've seen Atleti a few times over the last few years, they, they, they really can do a nil-nil. They can't. No. They can't. I mean, you look back at the re recent results uh, in, in, in domestic Spanish football, <clears throat> They can, they can barely keep a clean sheet. It's been, it's been ages since they've kept a clean sheet. That's not how they are anymore. So if I was Dortmund, I would be particularly pleased, not with the way I made mistakes tonight, but the fact we're in this game and this is not an Atleti side that has found it easy to keep clean sheets, particularly away from home. And for those reasons, I think this is a 50-50 call because Jan mentioned you don't know what Dortmund's turning up, certainly since Christmas time. You really don't know what Atleti side is turning, is, is turning up. Who's going through, Jan? Well, <laughs> again, Dortmund. There is, there's going to be another Bundesliga round as there will be a La Liga round. I think that it's, uh, there's going to be some decisions to be made now. I, I think Fulkrug didn't play that well. Brandt came on, so that depends on that, that as well. We're talking about Atletico can't play nil-nil, but it's not like... 
like people going now to the yellow wall and think that they will come at them. You saw they lost against Stuttgart in the last round. Uh, with my ha half German heart, I will say that Dortmund go through. OK, that's I knew we were going there. And now, <laughs> as, I now know. Luis is going to take us on a, to a journey as to why Atleti are going through. <laughs> <laughs> I, honestly, I, I thought that uh, in the in the beginning of this tie that uh, Borussia Dortmund had uh, they were favourites because they were going to play the second uh, game, second leg at their own stadium. That I think that is massive difference uh, in this kind of knockouts. Right now there is that balance because uh, Real Madrid is going to go there with an advantage of one goal, and that gives you it's true that, and I totally agree with with Craig. They they struggle so much uh, to to keep the uh, clean sheet, to keep the the goal without conceding, and that's something that Real Madrid is going to continue uh, working on. But it's true that. Uh, Borussia Dortmund, when they start bringing and committing players forward, they leave a lot of spaces. They leave so many uh, spaces at the back, and that's something that Atletico Madrid can use with Correa, with uh, Sa San Molino, as we've seen today, that he was very, very good in the first 45 minutes on the white area, also into the middle, with uh, uh, Nahuel on the right side. Griezmann, we saw today that he's back on, on his best, and if he's... In, in the right shape and in the right state of mind with that confidence, I think that Atletico Madrid has a little bit of advantage. So there, we go, go there we 55, go, there we go. 55 45 for Atletico Madrid. <laughs> I, that's where we were going. That's exactly they where they want to they, won. They want to <laughs> won.